Hello everyone, it's Chuck Thunder, and we're back with another episode of my Let's Play series of um, Elk Mountain. And last we left off, we were digging our hole, and we were filling up with rocks, and we were going to earn enough money to purchase the, uh, the trailer, which we did do. We earned enough after doing a few more digs, and we sold it, uh, sold it, sold it all to make um, a little extra cash to pay off a trailer. And now we have that trailer that we were using, if you guys remember, the red trailer, and... You know, we wanted to get going with our season here, and unfortunately, grass will not be harvested until the spring. And I thought maybe we'd keep digging, but Snow has had other plans for us in general. So, we are trying to live off of the $2,000 that we have saved up. Luckily, we don't own anything on our mortgage here other than basic electric bills and property taxes that get paid at the end of the year. So. We haven't had anything major going on, but we did manage to fill this trailer up with one more load of rocks, as you can see, and we also left a load of rocks in our bucket. Um, we definitely want to get, before we like, get on to the mining ventures that we'd really like to get on, we definitely need to get a better trailer. We have set this game up so that it's based off of weight, and it's tough to know the amount of weight that your trailer will be able to hold. Um, as you can see here, this trailer is holding 22... 2,286 liters, and that's all it can hold, um, which is two shovelfuls, and that seems a little low, and it's because it's gravel, and gravel is very heavy, um, as you can see here. So we are going to have to um, consider how we transport our gravel in the future with a, a much more efficient equipment piece um, that will do that for us um, to hold heavier weights. Um, in general, um, we would be harvesting our grass and getting it into our newly bought um, silage bunker here, which isn't a very large one, but like as we said, we could fill it with silage, um, uh, probably about a trailer load, maybe a little, meh, we'll try a trailer load first, we'll see how that turns out, because we don't want to overfill this, um, and so hopefully one trailer will do the job. Um, and I would have been chopping down trees too, but that's not something we could do either because these trees are not designed for that And I need something to chop it up So we are just gonna have to wait until the season allows us to cut our grass. So we're not quite there yet um, We're just gonna wait into the season um, And consider doing that what I heard around town though was that there is opportunities to plow snow in the winter here and we didn't come equipped for that but so maybe next spring we can consider getting ourselves a truck um, to do that and looking at our sales we don't have anything like that available but we can look at the kinds of vehicles that are available to us to allow us to do some plowing so we could do small farm plowing but the cheapest truck is this one and I don't think it has any availability for us to do any plowing so we have to look at our options in the future to maybe do some plowing with these trucks um, these big 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 trucks like I don't think this one is gonna have anything available for us plow out there we go so yeah we could get a plow on this truck for a really basic uh, amount of money for 28 29 grand we could do some basic plowing um, and maybe maybe we can get a back side of this uh, too but we're not in any position to do that we heard that next season that could be a possibility if the snow is like this in the future, we might want to use plowing as a way to make a little extra cash in the off season because we can't be really doing any mining um, around this time of year because the ground's frozen solid. Well, with this kind of equipment, we need much stronger equipment and we would definitely need um, the summer or spring or summer to actually harvest our grass. So let's hope that we can get a couple of harvests of grass in next season um, and some of them maybe one or two trailer loads of silage to get a little extra money. So in the next, uh, check in here we're going to check in with you when the episode is ready to move on with harvesting our grass see you then all right everyone we're back it is now springtime we had to skip a lot of months in order to harvest our grass here we realize now that the grass season uh for um elk mountain is a pretty short season um the harvesting season is only about july june july August, September, October, and November. So we only have six months, but the growing season is at least in April. So if we are harvesting in July, we may not get to harvest in August, September, October. Probably won't get to harvest again until November. Um, we may get to harvest and we may not. 
so it may not behoove us to continue doing grass work, but we do have this field and we are going to do it at the very least. So let us get started with it um, and get the field cut. Not much else we could do here, but cut it, ted it. We're actually not going to ted it, we're going to cut it and then we're going to pick it up. So we will check in with you guys when it is fully picked up um, and when we're about to drop our first load into the uh, silage pit that would be a fun little time right there we don't have any other trailers tractors so it's gonna be a little while before this is all ready to go so we'll start with this and we'll check back in with you when it's done see you later all right everyone we're back we have our first load after harvesting as you can see that we cut down and windrowed everything and now we're going to drop our first load into here and we want to make sure that we are doing it all correctly um, control I and here we go I want to overfill hopefully it works out all right I think we're going to do okay Alright, we are filled up. I don't think we're going to be able to put more than one in there, so we're going to have to see if this will compact now. Let's bring up our UI because we want to make sure that the compaction truly is happening. Yep. Compacting is occurring. I'm just going to have to back it up, back it up, back it up until we're at 100% uh, compaction. And then once we're at 100% compact, compaction, we'll be able to cover it up. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to do much more than one load, so that's kind of cool that we'll get one load of that in here. The rest of the grass, um, I would say let's ted and turn it to hay, but it's not going to work out for us. So what we'll do is we'll get this compacted, we'll cover it, and we'll sell off all that grass, and we'll check in with you guys on the next episode when the silage is ready. Because there's really not much else we could do here other than maybe pull up because we're going to harvest the rest of this, sell it off. And then while the season is still good, we'll see if we can harvest more. If there's enough time to get this pulled up and also uh, brought in to sell to as well, it would be great. So we'll check in once it's ready and we'll see what the price is and see if we want to sell it. Unless we want to store it. Um, I don't have any way to store silage other than in this silage uh, bunker. So we'll likely just keep the silage going um, and then sell it off when the price is high. Um, sell off the grass, continue to harvest grass, and hopefully we'll sell that silage before we um, uh, sell all of our grass or sell the silage or get more off the field um, to fill this back up for a second load. I don't know about putting in a second load into this. One trailer looks to be about all I'm capable of doing. And I don't want to over over uh, fill this and be stuck with because I'd like to be able to get all 16,000 liters out of this of silage I'd like to but we don't know that we're going to get that but it'd be a significant price increase when we can do that so like looking right now looking right now we'll have um, let's see prices silage yeah, we'll get 347 if we do it versus doing the grass, which is, yeah, we'll triple our, quadruple our money from it. So, significantly better than doing grass um, alone. So, if we can get that, even if it's off of one load, it's like doing four loads of, of our grass. So, it's going to quadruple one of our loads. I apologize if there's sound back here, but my AC unit is on and it is hot as crap in my city and my town um, it is 92 degrees so my AC has to be on in order for me to do this so apologize if the sound is kind of an annoying background sound on it but at this episode only because I think next episode that I might get a chance to record I might be doing it at my new place so we'll see we're almost fully compacted here almost there 97 
98, 99, should be 100. All right, now we are fully compacted, which means we can now cover this. Blank at the silo. Cool. So we have it fully started here. And we are just going to continue to pull this up um, and sell it all off. We'll reach you guys in the next episode once we've uh, fully gotten full silage going uh, and ready to be sold again. Check in with you then. Take care. It's been great. Chuck Thunder. Take it easy.